What's going on, y'all? It's your guy, C. Paris. In this video today, man, I'm going to show y'all how to use bleach and hydrogen peroxide to get the look, get this custom pattern. And it like some similar to what I'm wearing in this t-shirt right here, the Steel King t-shirt. Um, it's a simple, quick, fun process, so I'll be right back. Like, comment, subscribe. 12 going to peril, the dream in my eye. I'll be an example to myself in the tears that I cry. I just got a 100% cotton pro club t-shirt. Sorry about the background noise. Just started as I hit record. I got a spray bottle full of bleach. Spray bottle with hydrogen peroxide. <clears throat> so to get the look similar to what I'm wearing, I take my shirt, lay it out, and then something like tie-dye, I'll take it and spin it. But I mean, you can do anything. Any type of look you want to achieve, fold it however you want it, experiment with it. But I just kind of fold it over like this, get it tight. Bam. So then I take my bleach bottle. Hit it a little bit. Don't take a lot. And I'll just let it cook in the sun. And then again, it's 100% cotton. You'll see a lot of people, a lot of videos about people doing this <clears throat> similar bleach thing with like 50, 50, 65% polyester shirts, making it change and then subbing onto a white area. But we're not using sublimation with this. And I have seen so many of those videos. I was like, let's see what cotton does. Like it varies, like this one, see this one starting to turn brown. So, it happens pretty quickly. So now it's brown. Then I just shake it out. And you see, little patterns forming. And then what I like to do, I like to give it a little splatter. So I just take my spray bottle just hit it lightly. And I'll just let that sit a minute, let that kick in. So you can see it's starting to change up in here in the corner already. The splatter marks. I'm gonna hit it a little more. Again, first I'm using bleach. Then you can see that one's coming out dope right there, the splatter. But you can see it's starting to come in more now. Then so once I see that coming in like that, I'll just take a little peroxide and the peroxide will give it a different look. I won't use much, just some splatter marks. I could have even used it here and I forgot. We'll do that on the back. The back will have a little different look. <clears throat> but the peroxide gives it something else. And from what I understand, it's supposed to like help stop the bleed from cooking. But you can see with the peroxide, it gets a little lighter. A little lighter colors. Like more white. So then now, <clears throat> so let that cook out. But you see it look cool, little pattern, little custom t-shirt. 
and then I'll just flip it over and do the same thing on the same process. Actually, I'm gonna show you because you can do whatever. So this one, I'm gonna just fold these in like this. Just fold it upon itself. So you get a different technique. I mean, just play with it, see what you come out with. So then I'm gonna take my bleach again. Oh, my bottle broke. Hmm. Gotta get another one. Just dropped it before I started the video. Just let that cook a little bit in the sun. So you saw how that pattern turned out on the front of it. So this back is going to be straight lines. More. So now you can see it's starting to kick in. So what I didn't do in the beginning was get it with the peroxide, get that lighter effect. So I'm gonna do that here. I ain't gonna use much. Let that kick in, you'll see the little lighter colors start forming. But I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can fold it however you want, swirly or whatever, whatever it may be, whatever you feel like doing, and just get different looks. All right, so that's cooked. So, see it didn't get it good, so we'll hit that one more time. Right here. Let's put some. Like I say, man, just play around with it. slow usually it's faster one especially like you want that sun that sun helps it cook i might be in the wrong position because i was trying to get it right for the camera so the camera wasn't washed out but as you can see then then i just hit it with the peroxide a little bit But you see the peroxide makes it like lighter, get the lighter colors. I haven't done one with straight peroxide, next time I'll try that. But, but the peroxide gives it the more, it's more white. And this is just a 100% Cotton Pro Club t-shirt. that pattern that's your back and your front press some tea just take it in there press you some vinyl on there or whatever you're gonna do rock it like that but one of a kind ain't nobody else gonna have a shirt that looks like this in the world you know what I mean so just another little thing so from usually I be doing more than one, so I just set this in the grass, and I just let it dry in the sun while I do the others. Um, from here, I take it in the house, and I wash it, put it in the washer, cold water, 
no detergent, no bleach, no nothing. Just straight water. Let it wash, pull it out, and hang dry because I don't want the dryer to ruin the material. So, but like I say, it's not too bad, man. That's something fun to do. You bored, you know, offer it as a one of a kind, whatever. Put, put your design on there. But it looked pretty hard. But I appreciate appreciate y'all for watching, man. Like, comment, subscribe. See Paris, 12 going apparel. I'm gone. 12 going apparel, the dream in my eye. I be an example to myself in the tears that I cry.